Back with Coach Mora following the Huskies' 34-33 loss to Utah State. Coach, a devastating way to end the game, but throughout the whole game, there was a lot of positives and a lot of advancements in this team, except for that last play, of course. But can you just give me your overall thoughts today? I mean, you said it. It's like, I mean, that's a great word you use, devastating. I thought our offense showed a tremendous amount of growth today. I thought our energy was good, our effort was good. We had some breakdowns on defense that really hurt us. Um, and then the breakdown at the end that just, like as you said, it just took all the, the, the air out of all the great things that were happening. You know, we were, in a, we were in, a, in a battle with it, you know, a team that beat us last year and we were fighting and our offense comes down the field and makes plays, man. The Cam makes a play and Taekwon's making plays and, you know, guys are, Brett makes a play and, and to have it in like that, it takes the wind out of your sails, but we have to find a way, you know, to suffer here for a day and then uh, get back at it, you know, because uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. And we have to just, uh, we have to keep fighting, man. We just got to keep, stay together, keep believing, keep working hard, keep improving, and, and we'll, get a, we'll get a breakthrough. We have to talk about Jelani Stafford. He did it all today on defense. He was productive there. He was productive on the running game, and he even caught a pass. So can you just tell me how valuable he is to the team? You know, it, 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 all those things that he did, they like pale in comparison to his attitude and his effort, you know? But I think when you have a great attitude and you play with great effort, good things like that happen to you, you know, and people find a way to use you. And, uh, you know, Nick has done a really good job of using him on offense. He plays with a, just a, a real intensity and a passion and a will to win. And, you know, I think that we all knew that he could run the ball. He was a running back in high school, but his ability to get out to the flat and catch the ball and tuck it away and make some plays was, impressive so uh, you know I, I think it's it's great when you can you can use your players in a multitude of ways. Can you talk to me about the growth of the offense we saw you came out with a hot start with those two touchdowns we saw Victor Rosa Cam Edwards can you just tell me how your offense has advanced and we even saw those explosive plays on the receiving end just your overall offensive performance. Yeah I mean they were today they were really good I mean they had a lot of yards a lot of points uh, a lot of rushing yards a lot of passing yards a lot of real balance and then you know, the key was at the end of the game when they had to put a drive together, they put drives together, you know, and that's that's what you're always looking for. And uh, to me, it's just a tremendous amount of growth. And I'll start with Taekwon, you know, he hasn't played a lot of football and every day he gets better and better and better. And today, particularly in the second half, you know, he showed us what he's capable of and look forward to seeing him continue to, to grow into that role. You're taking it to the road next week. The energy levels were pretty high throughout that first half, a little different in the second half, but how are you going to take the team through the emotional levels of this season? I'm sure it can't be easy, but what, what's your approach? Um, well, we're resilient, you know, and you just gotta stay together and you gotta keep fighting. You gotta, you gotta fight against the negativity that sometimes tries to creep into your program. You gotta fight against the doubters. Uh, you got to fight against complacency. Um, you just have to, you have to show real resiliency. You have to embrace hard. I mean, you have to embrace the situation you're in and make the best of it. You can't let it beat you. You just can't let it beat you. You may lose the game. You may be sitting here 0 five, but we can't let the circumstance beat us. We have to keep battling and we will. Absolutely. The Huskies will take it to the road next week to Houston, Texas to face off against Rice on October 7th. Coach, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. All right. Thank you.